am back again with another vlog and the Without Cadillac me. Truth in Dare experience. We did one last year. I got a whole feature video on it, so there's really no point of doing another one. Um, there are probably going to be some different things here. It looks like some of the autocross stuff is different. So we're going to do that in the vlog instead. So let's see what they got. We got we're doing some dronage real quick. Uh, and we're a little early. We're actually early this time around, so we got a few minutes to kind of just look around, get some footage, and see what's going on. But there's definitely a lot more cones than last year, so maybe we're gonna have some more fun with cars. Let's take a look. Last year you had both in the straight line yeah. and I was truly impressed with the yeah. no lag on this thing yeah. Yeah. for a twin turbo car. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people think, oh, that turbo's lagging. I'm like, no, it's lack of traction is what's happening. Yeah, what's yeah, happening. exactly. I was going to say, I'm like, I didn't notice any lag. So whoever said that, I yeah, feel then, like yeah. was... Uh, it's, it's the traction. Yeah. Wasn't... So, guys, I've raced for 40 years. I have two national championships in autocrossing. So what I'm getting at is I know where the track goes 
and you guys don't really know. So I'm going to be talking to you the whole time. Sure. Very important to keep the eyes high, looking far ahead, because it's a sea of cones. And if you already know you're going to be going right, you'll be faster than if you have no clue, okay? Right. So as you're coming up to it, your body will already start adjusting for the right turn. And as you come up, have your eyes already looking to through that corner, because where you look, your hands tend to go. Okay. Most important too is to always be smooth on the brakes, the gas, and the steering. Because yeah. when you're really jerky, other than the fact that it makes me want to throw up, <laughs> uh, it just takes weight off of a tire and unbalances the car and it doesn't handle as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's pull up behind this black ATSD. Now this first section that we're going to go through, I don't brake at all. I do maybe a little lift if I need to. It's based on what the car is doing because the gravel changes by the second. In that corner you do have to brake a little bit and then it'll splurt a power and then the next corner is not going to be quite as tight and then it's just going to be nice winding S's but I'm talking the whole time okay absolutely you ready yeah let's go punch it first time it's going to go to the right it's going to go back to the left it's going to keep going back to the left up here you're going to apply just a little bit of braking as you turn in have your eyes looking right and power here it's going to keep turning in right keep turning keep turning keep turning keep turning and the next corner is going to go left and it will tighten up at the exit you're good you're good you got this next corner a little bit of braking as you're turning in and don't get on the brakes until after the checkered flag because that's where the timer stops you right there 27 up good run yay okay what <laughs> talk, i had to talk fast yeah you, you were doing you were going quick yeah, the oh fast, that's impressive the faster guys go the more faster I have to talk. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Uh, I've done this, yeah, here. Okay, you were here also. Yeah. Okay. Except that we weren't the bees. No, it wasn't the <laughs> no. big difference. This definitely feels yeah. faster. No, because right it was the six, right? It was. Uh, this it is was, a six also. Yeah, this is the twin, no turbo. twin turbo. Yeah, yeah, the last ones we had, which were none the bees, which was, I think, a four cylinder turbo and I yeah. think just an NA6. It's, it's time. First quarter is going to be to the right. Give me some power. It's going to go back to the left. It's going to keep going left. And when you get down here, just a little bit of a lift as you're turning in to have your eyes looking to the right. Now, power. Okay, now just a little bit of braking as you turn in. It keeps turning right. Keeps turning right. Keeps going. And the next corner is going to go to the left and it's going to keep going left. Keep going. And now the next corner, you're going to just turn in and make sure that you don't break until after the checkered flag so you get your best last time. There you go. I have to say, 29.6. I have to say, I'm Next very impressed cones. with how this thing can handle in oh, tight it, corners. Oh, it does an awesome job. I'm truly impressed. Yeah, every yeah. once in a while we get to get to do some laps and I'm like, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I mean, for a car that's, you know, coming technically from the luxury brand. Yeah. Uh, I'm truly it's like, why are they getting rid of it? Yeah, right? Yeah, it's See, this one's way more comfortable. Oh, yeah, bigger car. <laughs> bigger car. So, there's really no wrong way or right way of doing it. I think if you roll a little bit and then give it the full acceleration, you should be able, able to get a better launch. Sure. So, whenever you're ready. So, you said give it, uh, just let it roll feed, a little feed bit? a little bit sure. and then go for it. All right, All let's right. do it. That traction loss in the beginning it's yeah, just it's a, it's a slight as a matter of fact you did a really good job it didn't really spin as much as it usually does but the power is just intense so if you like since there's nobody waiting you're welcome to jump in the white one Absolutely, I, you. No matter how many times you do it, yeah, it's it, it catches your breath. I know. It's, it does. just puts you back in the seat like it's it's like a monster. Yes. But in a in a in a luxury, yep. technically a luxury. Uh, it's a luxury uh, monster. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we just got done with the CTSV straight line, but this year the new thing was ATSV in the autocross course. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. You got that ATSV, seconds. That ATSV is quick. I didn't get it on. I got yours, but I didn't get mine because I, I got to press the. But we did get on here, so we'll, yeah. well, you were already seen that.
it. But uh, that ATSV is quick, yeah. and it's amazing how fast they can take the tight turns. It like hugs. You can yeah, just it hugs go. real well. Yeah, I, I feel I, like I could have even let it go even faster than what I was doing. Yeah, I thought I was blazing. I thought I was killing it. I knew, I mean, I, I could feel that I wasn't going as fast as you were, but like, I, 29 seconds, hey, first time out, never tried oh, to yeah, track before. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't do like what I do with the uh, go-karting yeah. and stuff, so for you, I think it's the first time. in and do Not it. Not counting last year's, I mean like, we did, I did the auto We didn't even get a time year. last year, I don't think. Yeah, there was no yeah, time. there was no time. But that was a lot of fun. Now, we're doing the Escalades and the, like the XT4 or something, the XT5. Uh, we're just kind of like testing out the rigidity of them and similar, it's a core setup. So we're going to do that Or we're going over stuff. And we're actually going over So they stuff. did switch it up this year. They definitely yeah. switched it up. Yeah, I appreciate the difference. Yeah, because yeah, last year we didn't have the ATSV in autocross. It was just a turbo four cylinder in the six and eight. This time it was the V. Um, looks like we got some other features going on over here. We'll do that in a bit. But now we're going to check this out. Paris? Salibor. Say that again. <laughs> Dalibor. Dalibor. Uh, he's gonna, right? he's gonna get and that. Harris, nice, Harris to nice to meet you. All right. What's your background? Where are you from? I'm from Bosnia. Bosnia. Okay. Well, say I. We. We are both from Bosnia. Bosnia. Do you, okay. What's the language you all speak there? Bosnia. They have and multiple languages that are spoken in the country, right? No. No. Bosnia? Just uh, yeah. I mean, it's Bosnian or, um, or Serb Croatian. Do you know Serb Croatian? It's the same. It's, uh, it's exactly. If I say Stara Dish Druze, you understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool, guys. So this uh, roll out there, 8 to 10 miles an hour, run some stuff over, see how it feels. You feel like that? Like, if I, I drive a Prius, so like. A little bit different, right? Right, that would have been. That would have been. That would have been the <laughs> destruction of your. That would have been the end of your day, probably, <laughs> right there. Uh. Yeah, this thing's pretty smooth, right? It better be for ninety thousand bucks. I mean, here's the thing. It, yeah, right. <laughs> but it's it's smooth, but at the same time rigid. Yeah. Like you exactly. can feel just me sitting here and him turning. I can feel how rigid the chassis feels. Mm -hmm. That's actually very impressive. We're on mag ride suspension, so every few milliseconds, it's taking measurements to see what the car is doing. If it needs to stiffen it up or make it softer. Everybody That's does love that mag ride. Oh yeah. Eight miles an hour, right up and over this thing. No need for the brakes. Slow down just Yeah, I was gonna say eight miles, man, not 20. <laughs> he was adding it in the accelerator. <laughs> All right, stay tight to the right here. You're gonna stop at the double cones, white line, middle of the road, right down the middle of the truck. Check this out. We'll use the camera system to help us out. Stop here. Oh, wow, Around look you. at that. Keep the wheel dead straight. Don't turn. It's gonna wanna turn. Don't let it. Don't turn. Don't turn. Straight, straight, straight. Perfect. Four wheel drive system is in automatic mode, so you don't have to worry about a thing. It just sends the power where the traction is. No that's, drama. Uh, Piece of cake, like right? Nothing. That's, that's, like nothing. that's great. Uh, let's take the right lane all the way over and that's all the way up. Like nothing. Exactly. That not, was impressive. Not that you would take your 90k Escalade. Yeah, 30, but you know, maybe. But you could. If but you, you could if you wanted. The other part about this car. Because right now, if I do this, I see a camera and I see your gorgeous mug. Right. But you're taking up about 50, Too 25% much of my vision. Absolutely. So if I do this, Obstruction free. I'm not gonna lie to you. We just saw that in the yeah, Escalade that. and we love it. I wish my TV was this crisp. Yeah, right? So you have this camera where there's another yeah, ca there's one ideal. cameras back there that runs this Then there's another camera that's part of the surround vision. So there's also a camera up front and camera under both side mirrors Oh wow. So for about 15 minutes. I had a kid convinced that there was a drone <laughs> But he kept looking for the drone, so I felt bad. Like, dude, there's not a drone. There's not a drone. It's this is just, just a camera technology. But on a serious note, though, guys, I mean, imagine how many lives would have been saved just because of a backup camera. I agree. Imagine how many lives this will save. Very quick, a five-year-old gets away from mom at Walmart. Bam, it's that quick. Well, I mean, and, and, and is it, what's his name? Is it Kay? Or is Kai. it Kai? Kai. Kai. As Kai was saying, you know, you might not necessarily be using this on the road, but let's say you're, you know, looking at your phone real quick while you're just uh, leaving a parking lot. Yeah. Like, and that is a perfect, and you never know when a kid's going to run out. You never know. You can, and you know, you can. The slowest you go is when it's the most dangerous, exactly. and people don't realize that. Exactly. So this is a very big garage, or, well, it's a tight garage, but it's a very big car. Yeah. So I have it censored where you can either have it beep or vibrate the tush. You know I went with option B. <laughs> so, don't even have to buy any drink. But it kind of wakes you up and alerts you. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pretend I'm going to back up. And then, oh my God, we have Timmy, the robot trash can boy. Now, this is kind of creepy. 
<laughs> that is, a, yeah, that's a, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a little crazy. Right, look behind you. You can't see. Oh, so wow, you can't. That's crazy. An animal, you cannot see. So between the tush, this, and this, it is in your contract that if you hit something, I get to come to your house and smack you. Yeah, right? It's in your contract. It's in fine print. At some point, you just weren't paying any attention. Exactly. Or you literally watched yourself hit something. Yeah, right? Or you were just looking at it and you were like, you know what? Today, it feels hit. one of those days. I'm going to hit you it. Like, <laughs> you like your son-in-law's uh, front end? Ooh, Ooh okay, yeah. So we're going to do this real quick. Hold on to that camera. I'm holding head. it on. So I'm going to go about 9, 10, 11, 12 miles an hour. Unfortunately, at slow pe speeds, people think, hey, I'm going to go ahead and grab that cell phone, check yep. that email, check that message. All of a sudden, kid comes out and car stops itself. That's amazing. I put my phone on the brake. That's crazy. Absolutely love that system because, unfortunately, I mean, that's all it takes. It. That's we've, all it takes. We've all done it. Yeah. That's... Two cars parked together, a kid pops right out. Yep. Unfortunately, there's this nasty disease called I'm the only one in the world. Yep and that is it true. spreads throughout the world so it's good to have these safety options just to protect you yeah absolutely so now we're going to do our turning radius now this one does not have the active rear steering okay where the back tires turn about three degrees this one does about 40 feet so for such a big car this still does a tremendous job that's on turning I mean, this is absolutely awesome. amazing so this is about 40 feet now if i had the active rear steering where the back tires rotate they do about 37. So three degrees takes away three feet I of mean, parking. I mean, for a car that's this long, yeah, that's this impressive. Is a big, big car. But you know this what? Is this the, the, the longest production yeah, vehicle? This is the biggest car, yeah. But you know what's funny is it's a big car, but it doesn't drive big. No. So it has the best of all the worlds. One, it's sexy. Two, it's smooth to drive. Three, it's performance. And four, it's comfort. So you get everything all in one. So I'm going to push this button so we're going to do our parallel parking. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, they did such a great job with this car. I mean, I I I'm thoroughly impressed. And here's the thing, you know, a lot of a lot of reviewers out there that review cars, they complain about a lot of uh American car interiors, okay? But in my opinion, if you haven't sat in a Cadillac you probably should because exactly. this interior is a lot different than oh, like a Chevy it's interior pure, it's pure even comfort. though they're the same company yeah, it's pure you're, you're talking about two different interiors because I'm looking at this you know a lot of people are like oh plastics here but like this has got leather wraps it's got soft cushiony uh you know padding it's you can't you know that's you can I don't know how people can sit there and be like oh it's not as good as you know something from Europe or something like that and I, I disagree yeah. I mean I've sat in both you know uh, American cars, European cars, Japanese cars, and this is it. This is amazing. Yeah, That's all I this did. this saves people's. That's all I did. <laughs> this right here. It did fun. the gas. It did the brake. It did the steering. It did everything. But always, always, always hover the brake. You don't want to be that person that hits a car. You just show it down there and charge it on its own. Um, That's dope. I'm a Virgo. I don't like. I have a couple dirty kids. Um, I like how this is a mouse pad, so they're not clutching onto this right what so this nice pad. if you want to do touch screen you still can you just you know you can Yo. oh and it's got dude this is like serious force feedback yeah the button is super lightweight yeah. that's great to hear it's got haptic because awesome. uh because the biggest thing that lexus gets flagged for is their mouse and how it's not great right. <laughs> so yeah the haptic i mean and the thing is it's like you don't even have to be looking directly at it to right. kind of know where you are on the setting right so i really dig this i like the way they did it um, and you know what? This whole dash right here, it's not cluttered. It's not confusing. It's all nice and clean. Right. Um, I agree know, with you. One thing that this one does not have, it doesn't have the 34 speaker system that you guys are going to test yes, out today. That's yes. That's ridiculous. You guys have to listen to it. You're going to freak it's out. It's fantastic. We it's love awesome. It. The yeah, other we, thing this doesn't have is the massage seats. Um, but if you want to get in a massage seat, we'll take another test drive in the Escalade here in a minute. <laughs> but um, this one doesn't have that. But um, you're really well appointed, about 75 with a semi-autonomous technology. Wow. So, uh, so yeah, when you're comfortable, we're buckling in. We're going to take it right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm this, loving uh, that. Birds, bird's eye view here. So this will deactivate once it, you get up to a certain speed, right? So okay. you pop off. It's gone. All right, so there's a bunch of people still pulling in here, so let's take a right. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to come back on this right on the other side. So get out of the end here, go around the fence and we'll turn it. Gotcha. So you just 
felt that little tension, right? Ooh. Okay, that was your seatbelt saying I love you, right? <laughs> so the thing about that is it's measuring you, right? So look, let's say I'm Santa Claus. I get in, it's like, okay, hey, Santa. Uh, what it's gonna do is once you go a certain speed, it'll pre-tension you in. What that's gonna help you with is like any injuries in an accident, the less movement you have, yeah. the less things that can go wrong. Yeah, you're not The other thing it's gonna help with thing. is fatigue, right? So if, like, if I'm on Sears Point, which I've been in the CTSV, um, turn 11, take a sharp right. left, um, you go from like 145 down to like 55 and, and like hard on the brakes, right? Right. If you don't have this pretension in there, like you'd be a wreck. Yeah. You know, like all that tension, so any of that movement. So I'm a big fan of this. And I like how yeah, it, it's it, nice. it makes people like, whoa, what is that? It's like, it's telling you that it's there to help you, right? I dig that. This is a recorder, by the way. So people ask me about this. So let's say, you know, you guys are going up to the mountains or wine country or something like, this is beautiful, you point, press record, and the cameras outside the car will record your drive. Oh, it's that's standing. amazing. Um, some Yahoo tries to break into your car, the, the automobile knows it, activates the recorder, captures the images, right? So that's good for that too. Yeah, so also- So basically you have a dash cam built without in. having to buy a dash cam. Yeah, right. it's built in, that's outstanding. That's yeah. awesome. It's so smooth. It's yeah, so smooth. right? It feels so smooth. It's crazy smooth, but like even going this slow, you can feel that the car is rigid. Like the chassis is rigid. Yeah, it's got some stiffness to it. And it's, I mean, it's meant to perform. I mean, this isn't one of those floating boats, yeah. you know, from the 70s that uh, from all those different manufacturers just to float that's around. Literally, I mean, this, is, this is meant to perform too. That's literally what I was just telling to, uh, was it was it Kelly? Is Kelly, it? yeah. Kelly, yeah. Uh, I was literally just saying that same thing. I'm like, a little while back, even even in the early 2000s, we made a big car like this. It would be a boat because yeah. it would feel it like would a boat. Float, yeah, you know, but this actually feels like you still have the comfort, but then on top of that, you have that performance feeling at, at the same time. Absolutely, and you can do. There's different modes too. So right now we're in tour mode. So tour mode is fine for everyday driving. Yeah. Right? If you're in sport mode, it's gonna do what you know. It's gonna tighten up the steering. It's gonna be throttle response. It's gonna be adjusted. Oh, yeah. so, you know, it's gonna be more performance. So let's. In the sport here, so you can feel the difference. Um, so this light up here, we're going to get onto the on ramp. And let me tell you a little bit about how this technology works, right? This is actually a retinal scanner, okay. so you have to be paying attention at all sure. times, right? Um, you don't have to get in this lane. You want to go in this lane oh. and then get on the on ramp. Um, so you have to be paying attention at all times. Um, also, speaking of on ramps, um, you have to have an on ramp or an off ramp, right? If there's a stop sign going up to an interstate, it won't work. We, we're not approved for that yet. It's okay. not safe yet, right? Because these cars can't talk to other cars yet. Sure. Okay. We're going that direction, obviously, but we're not there yet. So now, center divider, it's like, okay, we're on an interstate. It's been mapped by GM. Okay. We've got a center divider. We've got an on ramp and off ramp. We've got him paying attention. We're going to pull on, and then what you're going to see is this little light is going to come on up there with a steering wheel. It's going to be gray, right? So it's pulling on the highway like you normally would. And we're still merging over, so it's not available yet. over and activate it so um, if you're gonna wait for this little wheel to come up there it is nice. That's 
crazy. And if I have a heart attack, right. I want everyone to know. Well, sure, listen, yeah, I don't sure. want to pull off. And that's happened. Yeah, I, definitely. you know, you've heard. I've heard horror stories where that's, that's happened. Crazy. I've seen it where, you know, luckily enough, the guy was already stopped at a red light. But literally, the guy behind him comes out and he yeah. goes and checks his pulse because the guy's just out. He's yeah. I had no I idea if he, yeah. You gotta understand, I, I am a huge technology head, and I put a lot of faith in technology. My chest is pounding right now. This is so terrifying. Well, it's counterintuitive to everything you've ever right. done in your entire I, life. I'm, I just like really <laughs> am so scared of it. We're gonna pull off the road here, so it's gonna go blue. See blue? That means you're in control. Okay. That's and now we're off the highway, you'll see it disappear, it's red. See, so now it's like, I should be fired, I should break, so it's gone. That's awesome. So we're gonna get uh, in the right lane. You're driving too, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. That would be awesome. So fortunately, there's a really bad restaurant that no one goes to down here. That's a really good place for our drivers. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's unfortunate for the restaurant, but yeah, well, oh, you gotta change your ways. It's right? so, it's so good. It's so good. So the, here's the thing, man. Like, obviously, like if, if I'm nervous, right? Like you're gonna be nervous. Yeah, I'm not right? nervous. Yeah, I, I, I trust it. And I've spent enough time with this technology that I, I have a lot of faith in it, right? Does that mean that I can just zone out and not pay attention? No. Of course not. We're not there yet. Um, get the left. What did you think? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was super fun. That was super fun. That was, that, I, uh, the, the, the conversation was super great. Yeah, I mean, everybody seemed to have, like, a good conversation. Yeah. Everybody we talked to. Conversations were great. Um, the tech is incredible. That's, that, the... What do they call it? Super Cruise? Super Cruise. Dude, that autonomous it's so... Dri autonomous driving. It's so trippy because I all I wanted to do, like, was, every ounce of me was just, like, grab the fucking wheel. Yeah, I'm grab just, like, the wheel or... Like, grab the wheel, because, brakes, like, do something. Yeah, because... Because like, it felt could, like I just let go and the car still was going, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour or whatever we were going. In a straight line. And I was like, oh, yeah. I really want... But, like... It, you, you feel it like did you feel like the little adjustments like you actually dealt yeah. with like somebody jumping in front yeah, of us yeah that was crazy oh man i wanted it so, so badly nuts. like it took everything inside me to let the car it was so nuts let that guy merge it was so nuts but it was it's so good it works so freaking well i mean i always say and the, the always, escalade the the, tr the i always the, the, say there's too much tech in cars Listen, this will help a lot of people that don't pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially if you have Because that's it on. cool. You know, and I, I hadn't thought about that. Because I know, like, with Tesla's autopilot, they tell you, like, you still got to hold on. You still got to, yeah, you know, like, you got to pay attention. But, like, their system actually forces you. Their it will system, not let yeah, yeah, you yeah. not pay attention. Yeah, their system, like, if you don't, if you're not looking, it's going to tell you. It'll stop the car. It'll stop, yeah. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, uh, that's... That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if, if it's something I'm looking forward to, like having personally, right. but I think that is a very cool feature. It took, I mean, it took But listen, everything. you know what, you know what, what you wouldn't have to deal with because of the, the parking the, or the uh, collision avoidance, mm. uh, you would never have to have uh, somebody hit the front of your car while parking their big ass truck again. <laughs> Not saying nothing. <laughs> um. I'm sad. I, I didn't realize it until we were told. Um, I apparently wasn't paying attention to the internet enough the last two days or whatever. Uh, but I'm sad that the CTSV and the ATSV are That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, I get Ford said, hey, we're not making... I mean, you think they're going to come out with new models or... I don't think so. I think they're just going just away from performance. performance. Yeah. That's crazy, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because why would they get rid of it? I don't Probably know, man. Point. That's nuts. Because even the, the the six still has the CT still six still has tur twin turbo. Yeah, but it's not a perform. It's not like tuned to be a performance vehicle. Right, but I'm just I don't know. That's weird. It's it's a weird it's a weird move. It is a weird move. I mean, I I don't. I'm assuming there's not enough sales, um, but that's unfortunate. Yeah, that those is. cars feel really good. Here's the thing. I didn't. On either on the autocross or the drag race or the drag the the real quick straight line test with the CTSV, I didn't test the, uh, the paddles. manual paddles. So like in the CT6, which is a luxury car, they felt luggish. Like they were lagging. Like I pushed a button and it took a good like two seconds to shift. So there was lag. 
I don't know if like in a performance in their performance models if that's different because you know performance you would imagine you would imagine so I have no idea but there definitely was lag the cars are phenomenal okay so let me put that this way I don't I don't want anything that I'm about to say like I don't want like any misunderstanding the cars are truly are like interiors very very nice in these cars I love the design on the exterior but there are better automatics out there and they're only making automatics i know the atsv you can choose for a manual but the ctsv is only automatic and from a guy like myself and if you are like me where you want proper feedback like hey i press the button to shift you need to already be shifting not i press the button to shift now i have to think about how long that delay is so you shift and then i know i'm in the next gear right i mean like you would want so I, at least I'm at assuming least as fast a response time right. as you would have and a lot of and a lot of and a lot of car reviewers out there always complained about the Chevy automatic that it wasn't responsive enough and if if it is anything like the CT6 that I just test drove where I was pushing the automatic uh, pedals that's unfortunate right however it did not shift for me while I was in manual mode so any other, cars, ma- any other manufacturers out there that make a manual mode automatic cars. transmission and for some reason it still shifts for you, if I wanted it to shift for me, I would have left it in automatic. Uh, so, you know, uh, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm saying. Assuming that any manufacturer watched this. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. That's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, I didn't do a lot of like transitions into this so that's going to be interesting how i put that together it was windy so like for me to talk to the camera there's an excuse why i couldn't just pick up the camera and be like hey guys we're going into this next thing because all you would have heard was like Shh. <laughs> you wouldn't have heard my voice but that's it guys as always if you guys like the video hit the like button if you did not hit the dislike tell me why i mean tell me why you liked it and why you disliked it and if you did like it of course. And if subscribe. you didn't like it, go to T3G Media on YouTube. Right, and then like like them <laughs> like instead. That, like that. Uh, um, <laughs> but if you did like it, hit the subscribe button because, of course, I try to do as much content as I possibly can while doing a regular 9 to 5 job. See you guys in the next one. I'm not